My name is Andrew Choi. I am the CEO and the founder of the Ikejime Federation, which is the first company in the United States that's dedicated to teaching and empowering the American fishing experience with the tools necessary to fish through the water column and therefore eat through the water column in the most meaningful and new way possible. Partnering with AFCO was such a blessing because the community that AFCO serves, the principles that AFCO abides by, and the commitment to marine stewardship and a more meaningful way of relating to the fish that you catch, they've given us a great deal of comfort that they share our view that fishing is more than just a hobby. The first step of Ikejime is to euthanize the fish before it can begin to experience the effects of suffocation. It begins by uh, plunging a brain spike into its brain. And what that does is it limits the accumulation of lactic acid, it limits the accumulation of stress hormones, and it also limits the increase in core body temperature. An easy way to sort of locate the brain is to identify first its operculum, and then most fish also have this line right here called the preoperculum. So the convergence of both the midline and also the preopercular line is, is a great guideline for where the brain is located. So do you see how the, the dorsal fin flared here? Okay, so this fish now can no longer experience the stress of suffocation. When you use a brain spike, you're effectively playing defense against a, a host of natural consequences that are gonna occur when something is stressed to death. Step two is to try to limit the bacterial load of the fish. And blood is a very, very rich substrate that can increase the rate of proliferation for bacteria in a carcass. So we want to drain the fish as much as possible to extend the shelf life. An easy way to achieve that is to, is to release the gills from this membrane here. We'll do both sides. Okay. One way to apply a little bit of pressure is to lift the tail and to sort of pinch, pinch the bloodline. And this will apply a little pressure to let that fish bleed. And the other way to do it is to put it into a bucket of water. If I give it a nice shake here, this will help the blood come out a little better. All fish need to be blood. They need to be drained and to the extent possible um, limited in their ability to proliferate bacteria. Step three is the Shinkejime wire. And this may be the most mysterious part of all of Ikejime and Shinkejime and sort of fish care. The Shinke wire is a, is a way not necessarily to play defense, but now to play a little offense with the natural consequences of rigor. What we're doing is disconnecting any of the residual signaling in the spinal cord from the muscle tissue. And we do that by inserting a wire that can flex along the contour of the neural canal, which runs on top of the spinal column and rupturing the, the spinal cord so that it can no longer, even involuntarily, signal anything to the muscle tissue. And that is effectively hacking the fish's central nervous system. So an easy way to, to sort of identify where the entry point for the for the spinal cord is, is just to sort of place this wire along the midline and you can see where it'll go through the brain and where it can come through. For this Boccaccio, we're gonna start a new entry point right into its neural canal, like this. Wire is here now, all the way down. <clears throat> Okay, to the end. So now that we've paralyzed the fish, that means that no more neurochemical signaling that exists in the spinal cord can actually reach the muscle tissue. This tricks the muscles into not knowing they're dead. So when a fish dies and can no longer experience stress and suffocation, that doesn't mean that the fish no longer has any energy left, either neurochemical energy in its spinal cord or energy remaining in its muscle tissue. 
But the point at which the muscle tissue is completely exhausted, that moment is the moment that rigor mortis begins. So what we're trying to do is actually delay the time that rigor begins. And then immediately it's placed into an ice slurry to bring the core temperature down. And the core temperature during the period of rigor is really important to also ensure that the intensity of rigor isn't as high and also that rigor resolves more quickly. So this is a one-to-one -one slurry of ice to water. And so what you want is you want the fish to be completely submerged comprehensively, not laying on one side. It needs to be submerged into the ice slurry so that you can bring its core temperature down as quickly as possible. So it needs to go down, bolstered, supported by the, by the slurry, and in a straight line. And this is called packing soldier style. Nose to tail, nose to tail. Awesome, looking perfecto. Now what? You, you, you have the, the skills and the tools to bring fish over the rail Let's take this to the next level. You have the power now with these tools to create the most biochemically superior products in the world. This is the difference between a fish that is fresh and a fish that is actually superior.